Hey guys, Tiffany with another video, and as you guys saw in the title, this is going to be an Ulta haul. But what you didn't see in the title was that this is going to be a very, very, very small Ulta haul because I really did not pick up that much. And I know some of y'all sitting back like, Tiff, girl, you don't even know how to do small hauls. You don't even know what that is. But it's 2017, new year, new me. <laughs> Who am I kidding? But anyways, I really did not pick up that much this go round. Um, as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I went to Atlanta for New Year's. I hung out with my baby brother. We didn't do anything spectacular. Um, we just sat around, watched Redbox movies. He cooked, and if y'all follow me, you know that my baby brother can throw down. He made greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. Matter of fact, no, because we leaving that in 2016. But he cooked and I ate. And before I left, I did hit up one of the Ultas. And they had some items that I knew for sure that they didn't already have out here in Savannah. So I picked them up. So yeah, no more talking. Let's get started. So I have everything in this Ulta bag. And as you can see, this is like a small Ulta bag. So I'm telling y'all, I really did not go overboard at all. And I really only picked up a few things. I'm gonna kind of grab everything out of the bag and just kind of talk about it as I pick it out. The next item that I picked up is this new Tarte palette. Um, this is the Tarte Man Eater palette. I have not heard too much about this palette. I really had no intentions of going in the store and pick it up, but when I saw the display, I was like, you know what, those are really cute. And they look like everyday type of colors that I could use for like work and things like that. So this is how the palette looks. It just has like, leopard or cheetah prints on it and then it says man eater and when you open it up on the inside it does come with a really nice size mirror and then here are what the eyeshadows look like you get a total of six no seven shadows and i think this is supposed to be like a highlighter shade or something right there i don't really know for sure sorry if i'm blinding you guys with the mirror but i have used this palette i did a get ready with me using new products look but i wanted to bring you guys the haul first so it wouldn't like be a surprise when y'all see the items in that get ready with me so you guys will be able to see how these shadows perform on the eyes in that video the next item that i picked up is a new product from maybelline this is the master camo color correcting kit here is how the packaging looks on that a lot of you guys tagged me about this on instagram and were letting me know that you saw this popping up in your walgreens and i think someone also said they found this at walmart but here's what it looks like oh and also cvs i saw these in cvs as well it basically is like a color correcting palette kind of puts you in the mind of the mac color corrector palettes you get an orange shade um and then you get like this yellow shade you get these two shades right here, which is supposed to be like the camouflage shades. And then you get what are supposed to be your highlighter shades. I have swatched these. Um, that's the orange right there. I'm just going to kind of swatch it on my hand. Because I know a lot of people are looking for a really good like orange color corrector. And then I'm going to swatch the highlight shade as well. So of course that would give you more of... He didn't just come to my window and see that I was filming and then he just like revved his little engine up. Obviously they're outside my window right now cutting the grass but I still have to push through because I have to get to work so I want to get this video up for you guys. But that right there is the orange shade and then right there is like the gold um, highlighter. Of course this is more of like a cream. So normally when it comes to like cream highlighters I like to use them as more of a base for my powder highlighter. So we'll definitely see how those two shades work as well as the other shades as well. So this next item I was really excited to find because I've heard some really good things about it. It's the new L'Oreal Blend Artist um, Infallible Foundation Sponge. Here is what the packaging looks like on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of the pack so you guys can get a better look at it. So here is what the sponge looks like. It has more of like a contour type of shape. It doesn't have like that one shape like the Beauty Blender. Now I've tried out like blenders like this and I really didn't like them because I felt like they were just like so hard to work with. But the thing I love about this is it has that same type of feeling and like buoyancy as the regular Beauty Blender. So I'm super excited to try this out for you guys. But again, like I said, I've already seen videos on it. CK Beauty here on YouTube did a video on it and I felt like the side she used on her face to apply her foundation with this came out better than the side that she used with the regular Beauty Blender because I, I think she used the regular Beauty Blender. But either way, I felt like this just did an amazing job in her video so I am so excited to see how this compares. 
Next up, I got some lip products. I got two of the new NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. You guys remember they came out with like the whole different shades of the lingerie line. Well, they added a few more shades, but these were really the only two that stood out to me. The other ones, I kind of felt like they were reminiscent of the previous shades. Um, the first one that I picked up is French Made, and that is what it looks like. And of course, I'll go ahead and swatch these for you all. I just thought this was like a really pretty almost like mauve type of color so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it but that is French made right there and then the next shade that I picked up was after hours and I thought this would just be like a really pretty um brownie nude type of shade and that is after hours right there stuff is just falling all over my room but I thought that one kind of put me in the mind of sepia a little bit from Anastasia. So I'm definitely going to have to like find sepia and do like a comparison probably on like Instagram or something like that. So you guys can see if there is a cheaper dupe out there. But either way, I felt like those two colors were just colors that I know look great on me. But then I also picked up an Anastasia um, liquid lipstick. This is a color that I've had my eye on forever, but I thought you could only get it on her website. But I saw that the Ulta there had it in store. And I know that my Ulta didn't have it in Savannah. And this is the color Ashton. And y'all, I have been wanting Ashton forever. To me, this is just like the prettiest. I don't even know what to call this. Like a terracotta type of shade. That is Ashton right there. And again, I have seen this on so many different skin tones. And to me, it's gorgeous on whoever rocks it. I normally don't go for shades like this. But I... I cannot wait. I'm stepping out the box in 2017. This next item, I remember seeing about it on Instagram. I want to say I saw it on like Trend Moods page. Um, but it's the Urban Decay D Slick Complexion Primer. I saw where they were coming out with like... Oh, I want to say maybe like three or four different primers. But after playing around with the ones that they had in store, they only had two of them in store. I felt like this would be the one that would do more for my specific skin type. Um, this one is the Complexion Primer. It's a Shine Control Pore Minimizing and Mattifying Primer. You guys know that I'm combination oily. So you tell me anything is going to minimize these craters on my face and it's going to mat me out. I'm down. Like no question at all. But here is what it looks like and again y'all I played around with this in store I just put it on the back of my hand and I was so impressed with just like the way it felt it felt like it would just do wonders on my skin this is another product that I used in the get ready with me so you guys definitely stay tuned to see how this performs on my face I don't want to ruin it for y'all but I will say that I am a lover of like Urban Decay's face products their setting sprays to me they're always amazing and then the final item that I picked up in my very, very small Ulta haul was the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. Here's what the packaging looks like. You guys know they came out with the whole peach collection. I already have the um, Peaches eyeshadow palette. You guys, if you saw my Christmas vlog, my brother got me the highlighter palette. I seriously had like no intention of getting this, but the lady was putting up the display in Ulta where she had like everything from the collection. And I kind of like walked by and like just kind of swatched it on my hand. And when I looked down, I was like, hold up. <laughs> like, hold on. I think I need this in my life. Guys, I'm telling you, like, I had just no... Y'all have heard me say the only thing I really wanted from that collection was the highlighter palette. But I did not know that this blush was that gorgeous. Of course, you know, the packaging has the peach on it. Although, I don't know if the peach looked like this on the Too Faced palette. I'm going to have to go back and look. Because this little peach looks a little scary. Like, it's not necessarily something that I want to meet in my dreams. He just look a little psycho, but of course it's the product on the inside that matters. It does come with a really nice size mirror, but y'all, I'm telling you, first off, this is not going to be a blush for me. Um, maybe more of like a blush topper, but what I know I'm going to use this for is definitely as a high light because it, can y'all even see that? Hold on. Let me give y'all a better swatch because I barely put my hand in that, but I don't know if it's going to show, but this is like the prettiest peachy type of highlight color and I'm normally not even a fan of peach highlighters although people are always telling me Tiff you got to try the peach highlighter it will be gorgeous on your skin tone 
normally I'd be like, child, bye, give me my gold and let me go about my business. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I think this would be great as like a blush topper or maybe even like a bronzer topper. But y'all know your girl going to use this as a highlighter and we're going to see how it performs. And that is it for my Ulta haul. I feel like I didn't go crazy. Um, I had Ulta rewards bucks that I needed to use. So I really didn't pay much for this. As well as I used my, what, $3.50 off coupon. So I got everything at a discounted price. And again, I didn't go crazy. So I definitely feel like I'm starting 2017 off in the right direction when it comes to my makeup addiction. <laughs> I did go overboard, although they did have a lot of new stuff in that particular Ulta. And I did come home and take a little sneak peek in my Ulta just to see if maybe it was something I want to get that I missed out on. And they didn't even have half the stuff up. So I was like, hey, it just was not meant to be. But definitely let me know what you guys think of the haul. I told y'all it was small. Y'all ain't believe me, but I told y'all. Let me know what you think of the items I picked up. Um, if you have any of these, of course, I want to know your thoughts. That's whether you like them or dislike them. And be sure to stay tuned for that Get Ready With Me. I had a lot of goodies that I used in that particular Get Ready With Me. And I love how the look came out. And I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I try to have that up. Uh... At least by Sunday. Give y'all a little something to watch after church. So until next time. Bye YouTube.